Hey everybody, it's good to be with you again. It's Richard and back with you once more. Today we're going to be taking a look at an atomizer. So good to hang out with you guys and uh, checking out these devices here uh, on Vapor Friends. So anyway, I've got mine from a company called Rocco Electronic and Vapor and from a gentleman called John. Thank you, John. Shout out to you for sending it my way. Uh, retailing for 110 ringgit. This uh, atomizer has been very popular in the UK. We don't have the original in Malaysia and the clone has just recently you know, reached our shores. I believe mine is from a manufacturer called Foxgar, although I don't know, uh, just looking at the box, doing a little bit of uh, checking up on the internet, I believe it is from them. All right, the original, of course, there, uh, is what it call available from a company in US called Big Buddha or Eden Mods, and uh, <laughs> it's retailing for 180 US dollars. And by now, I think you know what atomizer I'm talking about. We're going to be taking a look at the Rose V2 clone. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the Rose V2 clone version atomizer that I have here in my hands. Apparently, from what I know, I checked it out with uh, other reviewers on YouTube and also, uh, you know, comparing the difference between the clone and the original. Very few minor differences, probably about, you know, like the screw heads are different and that's about it. But overall, it looks, it works, it vapes like the original. So it's exactly a one-to-one -one clone from the original i mean i don't know the original myself because we've never had the original in malaysia uh it's never sold here so if you want one we have to order it from overseas like the us or the uk so anyway um as far as the clone goes it's made from uh 316 stainless steel it's a 22 millimeter diameter atomizer so it'll sit flush with all your uh, you know 22 millimeter mods uh, you can wick it either with silica rope or you can use your cotton in there it could be your rayon fiber it could be your you know organic cotton your uh, kojendo cotton from japan and things like that uh, it's capable of single or dual coil builds so take your choice there um, holds about 3.7 mils of uh, e-liquid in there so that's quite a bit of e-liquid you can put in there uh, it's got a juice flow control as well how the juice flow control works is actually the drip tip which is uh, interconnected all the way to the uh, chimney and all you got to do is just twist the uh, drip tip and you can open up or close up your juice flow so that's the control that we have there it's also got an adjustable 510 center pin and it's made from uh, lead-free brass. So these are just some of the features that's on the uh, Rose V2 clone. But no worries, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get into the close-ups. We're gonna you know, take a really good close look at the uh, Rose V2 clone and then come back, we're gonna vape on it. And also I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. So stay with us. All right, so getting straight into the close-ups here. This is how it came in, in the box. This is the clone version of the Rose V2, of course. And uh, the box opens up with a very nice uh, packing here. Solid cardboard. And you have the logo of the, uh, the Rose Atomizer here. Putting that aside, in there you would get your spares. And you have your little blue, tiny little screwdriver. You have your, you know, pre coiled uh, silica rope and you have some o-rings and also a hex wrench to go with it so that will put it aside as well and inside you have your stainless steel midsection tank here okay and you also have a spare uh, what do you call ceramic cup and the star of the show as usual we have the Rose V2 atomizer. We're going to put the box aside and this is how it arrived. This is how the V2 looks like. Like I mentioned, this could be a uh, clone from Foxgar in China. All right, so taking a closer look just to let you see uh, the bottom section, we have the rose laser engraved onto it. And you have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is that a serial number? No, that says a V2 and uh, it's got a few other letters as well v2 b1 that's what it says here 
actually the original version comes with a stand where you can just slot it into the work and uh, uh, you know uh, loosen up the bottom section and things like that but this doesn't come with it it only comes with a uh, stainless steel midsection tank and your ceramic cup have your polycarbonate tank here this is made from stainless steel 316 it's a pretty nice atomizer it's got a slight brushed or satin uh, if you can call it that finish so what we're going to do is we're going to dive in and uh, break it up right now and I'm going to start uh, taking it apart so as you take up the top cap and you would find your chimney attached to your top cap here o-ring rubber o-ring in there okay so that uh, you can it prevents juice from flowing out and uh, push it and actually adjust your juice control this is your juice control by turning it all right to loosen or to tighten it all right this is how it is cool so we're going to take this out put it aside and uh, we're going to remove the other section you could also change the uh, polycarbonate tank here to the stainless steel one that we've just uh, seen on in the box and you have the other final bottom section of the tank here which you could also remove threadings are pretty smooth and you have a ceramic cup in there the ceramic cup actually gives you more intense flavor uh, this is more of a flavor thing with the ceramic cup you have these holes here with your uh, Allen screw heads there to tighten down your wires on both sides here this center hole here is actually uh, based on the original you can actually use like an Allen wrench um, something like this what I mean is you put in here and you put the stand against this to tighten the bottom section this is what the hole is for but for the clone we don't have those kind of tools provided to us so uh, if you want to do anything I would have to get my own tools all right so uh, as for this section here the bottom part if I want to do any tightening I have to use something like this kind of a uh, you know plier where it has you can fit into the hole like this and just tighten it all right so that's what it's for if I want to loosen it I'll just turn it the other way around so basically the uh, stand that comes with the authentic does things like that so since I've already opened it I'm gonna open up this part for you this is the bottom section all right this is your positive you do unscrew this and remove it you've got to be very careful when you're screwing it back because your Allen key grub here might just run out of place so you've got to be very careful it doesn't run the other side yeah so try not to mess around with this screw so once you've put it back in here yep yeah, this is how it looks juice will go in there gets caught here and when you want to clean it you just take it out and wash it and dry it and put it back all right and the other thing this is your airflow control ring it's held on by a piece of o-ring here although the clone version that I have here is not very tight uh, so if I want to make a make it a little bit tighter maybe I can change the o-ring to a thicker o-ring so to prevent it from running but as it is it's okay it's not too bad see that's your o-ring your airflow control um, there that's got a two millimeter diameter size hole there you could have it full like this or you could slowly turn it and uh, cut it down to size all right half cool so we're gonna put it back basically that's it to loosen and uh, you just use an Allen key or hex wrench some of you call it and just turning anti-clockwise and you will remove this little nut here all right so you just want to put it back and screw it back in so we're gonna do a build and uh, I'm gonna do a single coil all you got to do is have your what you call coil in the middle 
slot it into these holes here, positive and negative. Uh, this is your positive, this is your negative, and then screw it back down. That's it. All right, so we're going to try and build the uh, Rose V2 clone version, this atomizer here with a single coil. I'm going to lay it across diagonal here. And shout out to John Muller and also Bill K. Uh, this is a re edited portion of the video that I first did, which I kind of messed up. Uh, we'll come to that shortly. But right now, okay, I have the building deck here. And also, this is the uh, ceramic cup that we have. What I'm going to do is put on a micro coil in there where I've already got it on a 26 uh, gauge camper wire, 10 wraps. So I'm expecting it to come to about 0.9 or 1 ohms in resistance. So let's start. All right, so first what I'm going to do is use the ceramic cup and I'm going to get instead of my 564 drill bit, which I used to uh, coil this wire in, as you can see, it can go in and out, yeah. But this is gonna be a little bit too big to actually rest my uh, drill bit all the way in to the uh, ceramic cup, so it won't go in. What I'm going to use is a Allen key, which is slightly smaller like this, so that I can rest it in. And uh, we're gonna put it across into the uh, the coil as such. Holding the cup like this, we're going to slot the two ends of the wire, one on each side to the holes. So once you've got it in, I'm going to lay it across diagonally as such. Push it down all the way and using my index fingertip to just push it down and hold it. All right. Okay, what you want to do once you've got this in is to use your nail clipper, snip it off about four millimeters, four to five millimeters. One, two, this is just an approximate, all right? Bring up the deck, you see those two holes on each side. The wires should be straight and we're gonna put it back in which should fit very nicely carefully doing it okay with the slots like these meeting the uh, stainless steel side just make sure it sits in properly all right so it looks like it's gone in just make some minor adjustments all right so once it sits in there just hold it down and you use an allen key or hex screw some of you might want to call it that and just tighten up the grub screw. Moving to the other side, just keep it down, push it down. Tighten the other side. We've got that done. And as you can see, the coil is running diagonal. Don't worry about uh, if it's a little bit out. Uh, we're gonna test burn it, and then after that, we'll use a tweezer to just pinch it, all right? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this down and just lift the um, Allen key a little bit so that it's a little bit off even pressure off the deck, about two millimeters away from the uh, juice hole or air hole at the bottom there, as you can see. So, it's come off it. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, what we're gonna do now is just uh, check the resistance on my ohm meter here. Like I said, two millimeter uh, drill bit, 26 gauge canthal wire, and uh, 10 wraps. We've got 0.96. So once this is done, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna just test burn it on my Hannah mods here. All right, give it a few pulse. All right, looks like it's working great. We're gonna just use a tweezer to pinch it a little bit. Okay, just to make it straight. Do a little bit of adjustment here. I 
Okay, if you notice what I'm doing is uh, I'm making sure that this is diagonal and it meets from this end of the cup to this end so that when I put my wig through it's easy to go in. Alright, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit more, clip it a bit. Yep, it looks like we're good. Let's give it another test burn. Glowing from inside out. Inside out. Yeah. Great. Looks like it's working great. And we're going to try and wick it. I'm using Japanese cotton here. And, and we'll try and put it through this and out the air at the side with a little help from using a tweezer. Okay. It's loose and nice. All right. So that's your cotton in there. What I'm going to do is, I learned this from uh, BAM Vape Reviews, so credit should go to them. You want to just flip it back here. Now using probably your Allen key, you just want to push it all down. Okay. With the, at the same time, your cotton is just Pack it down like this to close up this uh, sl slits here. All right. Otherwise, if you don't close up the slits, what happens is juice will get back into it and will flood your whole tank, which is exactly what happened uh, the first time I tried to coil it. All right. So, uh, so sorry, rather wicked, and uh, it'll flood. Juice is going to leak out from the uh, air hole because uh, juice is going into this little cup. At the bottom here comes up from your air hole and it's going to leave you with a mess so uh, that's why this is a re-edited portion of the video which i'm going to show you how to do it right it's all in the build and then what happens is once you've got that done you're going to switch this back out again all right and now you're going to go and put it into this slit here all right Putting it back into this slit, you see it? Okay. And you want to bring this back again, loop it over. And slowly push it down. And you don't want um, too much cotton as well, just push it down nice. Okay. And you have your little bits here, try and push it in a bit. Alright, take your time, take your time to do it so that it wicks well. Alright, so once you've done that, you can use your scissors and just cut off this end. Alright, great. And just stuff this back in. Use your fingers. To just push this flush with the thread. You don't want um, to have your top cap when you're screwing it down, or rather your chimney, um, to catch on the threads, and then you know it's going to be messy and it's going to pull out the threads and all that. So just put it in there, flush, press it in. So you've actually just covered this with cotton. It's going to soak in your juice and wick really nicely. All right, this goes in, and you're going to do the same for the other side. All right, so flip it over, okay, like this, like so. Have a look at it up close, and you want to push this back in. All right, not too much, and you're going to, oops, it's just nearly come out, push it back in again. And you want to take this side, push it back out here. Mm -hmm. Do the same. Push it in. And flip it over. And push it in. Alright, just make some 
minor adjustments here and there. Okay, use your little hex wrench to just just adjust it. And then use your finger to just press it down. Okay, cool. Okay, then what you do is get your scissors, just snip it off where you don't want. Push it back down. get the sides do it again great so now you have your micro coil with Japanese cotton and you have all your sides here covered up so that juice won't leak out from the gaps there Switch here Japanese cotton soaks amazingly soaks in juice really fast so it's good and it gives you a really good flavor and especially with an atomizer like this which is known for flavor it'll be fantastic so we'll just say you know once it's uh, primed with uh, e-juice it makes it easier to make your adjustments again because there are no threads hanging out just give it a press just to make sure your cotton goes in very nicely into those slits and not hanging out. All right, great, fantastic. Let's take a look at it. Lovely, perfect. Let's give it a bit of test fire. very good all right so next what we want to do is to fill up the tank and you got to pay attention to this because the first time I did it I didn't pay attention and it leaks all over okay so we're gonna put this aside and you have your chimney that is connected to your drip tip so what you want to do is take the top cap put this in and push it down all the way in make sure you push it all the way in pull it out this end until you can't move it anymore all right so this is it the carbonate tank all right just screw it down back in so we're gonna fill up with juice but just before that let me just put it down and I'm gonna have to take the atomizer off my DNA box because this is gonna be going into this all right, so this takes about 3.7 mil of juice. I'm just gonna put it in there and I'm gonna just pump it in, fill it up with juice. I've got three ml of juice in here. I'm gonna pump it all the way. And if you notice, I still got some more space here. I can put in more juice if I like, but uh, just for the sake of this uh, video, I'm just gonna stop there. Um, you can pump in juice all the way until you reach uh, just before you hit the top part of the chimney so that it doesn't overflow into the hole there which goes into your drip tip and it's going to be messy and you get juice in your mouth so so once this is done what you want to do close this all right screw this back all the way down so once that is done okay now be very careful because this is the first time this is the mistake that I made the first time once I've got it all the way down do not turn it because if you turn it now juice is gonna go rushing into your chamber and it's gonna flood everything and juice is gonna come out from uh, your air hole and everything what you want to do is hold the drip tip you want to make sure that the chimney is closed completely then you turn it the other way around that's it box your uncle Perfect. Adjust the air hole to your setting, to your preference. 
Let me look for my air hole. There you go. That's my air hole there. I like it fully open. The air hole fully open is two millimeters, as I mentioned. So right now, I'm going to just open up the juice control to give it two to three turns or four turns. So this is your Rose V2 atomizer, all called wicked, waiting to be vaped. All right, so yes, guys, uh, that portion was actually uh, re-edited and re-uploaded again because the first time I did it, I actually uh, just messed up everything and I had to, you know, take out a lot of footage and from after checking out the tank and all that, I was supposed to do a build and show you how to do it. I went straight into an already uh, done coiled and uh, one of the subscribers, John Muller, <laughs> highlighted to me hey what happened to how you're gonna build the uh, coil and all that so because it is information to subscribers out there thank you very much John Muller for highlighting that and also to Bill K as well so sorry about that and well at least it's all fixed now we're good so I've got it here once again on my standard version of the HANA mods and uh, this is the beautiful Rose V2 atomizer although it's clone um, Honestly, if you can afford it, it's very pricey. You can get it from Big Buddha, uh, like I mentioned much earlier on. If you can afford it, it's no loss. It's definitely for keeps. This is a great atomizer. So the clone version, one-to-one -one clone, uh, except for a few minor differences. Let's see how she vapes. Couldn't be happier. It is indeed just busting with flavor. Great atomizer, uh, RBA, or some people call it RTA, rebuildable tank atomizer. Fantastic flavor. One more vape before we call it a day. This is really good. Great stuff. Thank you very much, guys, uh, for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like, Please subscribe if you don't. I'm also cool about it. And uh, thank you for your support. Until I talk to you again, wait safe. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.